Hello, y'all. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and this is the Crochet from the Beginning series. Now, if I can stay everything in the viewfinder and actually see what I'm doing, we will be in good shape. Okay, first we're starting off like we have in the other videos with that slip knot. Hook through, choke up on it. I'm going to make a chain. We're always going to start with a chain on these basic stitches, okay? So we're going to just chain a bunch. Maybe not a bunch. Four, five, yarn over, pull through is six, yarn over, pull through seven, yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through nine. Don't let it win, Deborah. Yarn over, pull through ten. Okay. Now on the single crochets, I'm going to go ahead and run through a row of that just so you can compare and contrast the difference with what we're going to do today. For the single crochet, we're going to go in to that first back bump. Just stick it right in that hole, yarn over, and this first one is always a little more awkward than even the rest of them. Pull through, yarn over, and pull through those two. Okay, we're going to keep doing it all down this row. We're going to go one way you can look is kind of look there and see, oh, this is in this back bump. This one has not been unbumped, so I'm going to go in there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through both on your hook. Okay. Put your hook in, pull through your loop yarn over and pull through the two that are on your hook. See, we got a nice little single crochet going there. Yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through those two on your hook. We have a few more to go. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And again, we are just going through the back bumps because this is the weird little first row, and that's where I like to crochet. You don't have to. If you prefer to do your first chain and then crochet into the Vs that, that show up when you flip it over, that's perfectly fine. There are as many ways to crochet as there are people who are crocheting. I'm just showing you how I do it and how it's easiest for me, okay? You might see a dozen different ways to do it out there today if you're watching a bunch of videos. And I'm glad that you stopped in here. Get you a little bit of super beginner basic because I am still a beginner, but I love to share what I'm doing. So that's why I'm here. Okay. We are almost at the end of this first little row. Pull through those two. That last one, that last little bump pull through, yarn over, and pull through the two on your hook. There we have it. We have got 10 little pretty single crochets, or as Bob Ross would say, they're happy little single crochets, and I'm sure that they are. But we're here to see the half double crochet. I wanted to start off with this first because it's always easier to go into that second row, and you'll be able to see the difference in the stitches when we have the half double on top of it. Okay, we're going to chain one, and turn our work. That chain one does not count as anything, so don't try to count it as a stitch. To do the half double crochet, there is a little bit of an extra step from the single crochet. What we're going to do is we yarn over first, and then we go into that first stitch, and on the real rows that aren't that weird back bump row, that little V, you're going to go through both of them there, pull up a loop, and then you'll have three loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. That's a half double and you'll see them better as we get a few more down the row. We're going to yarn over and I find it easier to look at that top and make sure I'm going into the right ones because you can mistakenly grab something else if you're over here on this side. So at that top, go through that V, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And we're going to do it again. Yarn over, go through that stitch, 
pull up your loop, yarn over, and go through the three that are on your hook. Okay, yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, and go through the three that are on your hook. It doesn't give much difference to the height of the stitch from a single crochet, but it is different. You see that? Our single crochet is here. The half double is here. There's that extra loop thrown in. It does make a difference, but it's not a huge difference, which is why some people will use a single crochet to edge something, and some people will use the half double instead. I like to use the half double on a lot of washcloths. Gives it a little bit more real estate, and I just like the way it looks because it does finish it off nicely like the single crochet does. We'll go ahead and finish up this row. We'll yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three on the hook. Yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through those three on the hook. We'll just continue till we get to the end of our row. And yes, you are welcome to practice along, especially if you've just got a ball of yarn that you don't know what you're going to do with yet. Practice your stitches. Yes, I hold my yarn differently than a lot of people do, but like I said, there's as many ways to crochet as there are people and you doing it the way that a lot of people do it, where they stretch their fingers out and wrap the yarn around their fingers to hold tension, for me personally, it's painful. So I don't do it that way, but that's okay. I still get the results I want. I'm not as fast as some people, but I'm not in it for the speed usually. That's unless I'm driving a fast car and I can't afford a ticket, so we'll just keep it slow. <laughs> Gonna continue on, yarn over, in that stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through all three on your hook. Again, yarn over, go through that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, grab those th all the way through, and looky there, we've got one little guy left. We're going to yarn over, and this one might be a little tricky to see because of the way we came around the corner. Okay. Just find where your V would be there. Pull up your loop, yarn over, and pull through the three that are on your hook. And there you have it. Single crochet here, half double here. Not a lot of difference, but it does add a difference to your project. And we have a little piece of pink material. So there we go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. There will be more stitch tutorials coming up and um, I appreciate you stopping by. Come back soon to more crochet from the beginning with me, Deborah. Bye now.